What's up guys? So I just got back from CES in Las Vegas and while I was there, I saw so many new and amazing products from a bunch of different companies. And now that I'm home, I'm working feverishly on a series of videos highlighting the whole experience, as well as some videos that are just focusing on specific products that really caught my attention. Now in this video, I want to specifically talk about the all new iSeries Navimo robotic lawnmowers from Segway. Now, if you're someone who hasn't heard about Segway, they are a well-known brand for producing self-balancing two-wheeled vehicles and scooters. And in 2021, they introduced their first series of robotic lawnmowers. In fact, their first series of robotic lawnmowers, the Navimo H series, introduced the first autonomous mowers that utilize GPS rather than a buried boundary wire or any of those strategically placed sensors allowing for a truly wireless mowing experience. Now early on, these mowers caught my attention at big box stores such as Lowe's and Home Depot, but from a pricing perspective, they were just a little bit more than I wanted to spend. Since then, prices have dramatically decreased and robotic lawnmowers have become a lot more affordable. Now overall, Segway is a well-known brand and it still stands out as the pioneer for introducing a truly wireless robotic mowing experience. And this year at CES, I got to see and experience their next generation of Navimo robotic lawnmowers. Now while I was there, I did meet up with Ryan and Mia who introduced and shared with me some information and what we could expect with this new i-series of robotic lawnmowers from Segway. For one, it does keep its compact and rugged design with a few aesthetic enhancements and improvements from its two-year-old H-series model. Now while I was at the booth, they had both the H-series model and the two available I-series models on display. At first glance, the two I-series models are a little bit more compact and they look a little bit more premium and sleek in design than the previous H-series models. They also have nicer curves and glossy touches that just give them both a little bit more of a wow factor from a design perspective while still retaining their original signature look. Now from a specs perspective, both i-series models are very similar, with the biggest difference being the coverage area, with the smaller light gray model being able to cover up to 5,000 square feet, and the slightly larger dark gray model being able to cover up to 10,000 square feet. Now, another enhancement that both Ryan and Mia shared with me is an improvement in the overall mapping capabilities of these i-series mowers. This is probably one of the biggest selling points for Segway because it allows for a true autonomous robot. Now the first generation of H-series mowers requires you to use the app in order to wirelessly define the boundaries. Now, with the I-series, the system has been improved so the mower can automatically define the boundaries without the use of the app. Instead, it uses AI and a mixture of GPS and VSLAM, which stands for Visual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, which is technology that uses the mower's cameras to calculate the position and the orientation in order to map the entire environment. This technology uses visual input from the mower itself, making it just a little bit easier and a lot more precise. You can, however, still use the app and adjust and make changes, but it's nice that the mower can now do it automatically and it can continuously learn and make updates on its own the more you use it. So it's got some true AI built into the mower, so it's continuously learning. Now, like most new robotic lawnmowers that are available today, the Navimo series of lawnmowers also has a GPS antenna, which you'll need to install and place in an open area in order to both receive and broadcast GPS signals between both the satellite and the mower itself. Now, what I like about this antenna is that it's also very lightweight and small, which makes it more aesthetically pleasing and allows for automatic over-the-air updates to ensure that the Navimo has the latest updates, bug fixes, and features, so that it's always up to date. Now when it comes to the mower itself, the i-series mowers have an adjustable max cutting height of 3.6 inches, with the lowest height being 2 inches, and it can handle a number of different terrain types, which means that it can travel between the front yard and the backyard and across a lot of different surfaces. All models of the i-series mowers come with a charging garage where it automatically returns to in order to self-charge. Now the smaller of the two i-series mowers has about one hour of battery life and it takes about 1.5 hours to fully charge. 
and should be able to mow up to 5,000 square feet within a day. Now, the larger and the dark gray model doubles that time with the two hour runtime. In addition to that, using the app, you can also specify charging and run times if you want to be a little bit more in control of your mowing schedule. Now, the one thing that I like about these robotic lawn mowers, because the mowers are battery operated, is that they are super silent and they make virtually no noise at all. Now what's nice, and if you have any other kind of lawnmower, with the app you can also do real-time monitoring of your mowing, as well as track the whereabouts of the mower itself, and the patterns and the progress it's making when it's mowing your lawn. Now because of the compact size, one thing you will notice about the mowers themselves is that they do not have a collection bag for clippings. And that's simply because the whole reason for owning a robotic lawnmower is for low maintenance and consistent continuous mowing and lawn upkeep. That means the clippings are small enough to not need collection and disposal. They simply just dispose it in the grass itself. Now because the weather can also be a little bit unpredictable these days, it's also nice that the Navimo series of mowers are also IP66 certified, so they can operate in both sunny weather and when it's raining, making them very durable and very versatile in any type of weather condition. This also means that you can clean them with a hose or any kind of high pressure washers. Now according to Mia and Ryan, these new i-series mowers will also have two different operating modes, allowing you to switch between the standard boundary mode, where it will cut close to the edge of the boundary but stay safely within it, and also a ride-on mode, where it will mow on the boundary line in order to give you a clean finish along the edges of the boundary so you don't have to do separate edging work. Now, another thing that I did ask about because of how small and lightweight these robotic lawn mowers are was from a security standpoint, which is a big thing for me, especially because I do worry that someone can just pick one of these things up and run off with them. Now, what they told me is the Navimo series of lawn mowers are equipped with anti-theft features, such as GPS monitoring, which enables the mower to sound an alarm if it is removed from its boundary and then it automatically disables the mower, making it completely useless. It's also got GPS tracking, so you can always see where it is using the app itself. And then once you do recover it, or if it is returned to its boundary, you can reactivate the mower. So there are different security features installed. Now, at the time of CES, there was no pricing information. But what I was told is that it will be very competitive and affordable when announced, and release near the end of February or the beginning of March. Now, initially, you'll be able to purchase it on Segway's website as well as Amazon. And then, currently, they're working on it, and then potentially you'll be able to purchase these from the big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot in the future. Now, I did get to see the mower in action at CES, and it does have amazing object avoidance and location sensing technology. In fact, it did stop a good distance away from my foot when it sensed that I was standing in front of it and didn't even get to the point where it had to use the built-in bumpers on the unit itself. Those are basically just a backup because of how good the camera is. Now, Segway will be sending me a production unit of the robotic lawnmower, and it's one that I'm super excited to try out. So you can expect that I'll be posting a follow-up video sharing with you my hands-on experience and actual use cases of this all-new i-series robotic lawnmower from Segway. Now, while I was visiting Segway's booth, I was surprised that in addition to the Navimo series of lawnmowers, Segway did have on display a number of their other products and technologies that they produce, including scooters, e-bikes, backup battery solutions, and a lot of other autonomous products. In fact, they even had a large off-road vehicle, which is something that I didn't even know that they produced. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video and, like me, are excited about the all-new i-series of robotic lawnmowers from Segway. Please make sure you click that like button and subscribe. And also check out my other videos covering CES. Make sure you also ring that bell icon to get notified when I post my follow-up video with my hands-on experience and review of Segway's all-new Navimo robotic lawnmowers. Until next time, see ya.